my name is Amanda Jean. And my name is Davis. I'm a science teacher at a local school, and today we're going to practice some science experiments with all of you. So, have you ever heard of elephant toothpaste? Is that what they use to brush elephants' teeth at the zoo? Well, no. Uh, <laughs> but it's really fun. Elephant toothpaste is an easy thing to make with stuff that you have in your house already, but we're gonna do it big enough that it is more foamy and yeah. exciting. Elephant-sized explosion. An elephant-sized yes. one. Maybe not that big, because I don't wanna get stuff all over my beautiful kitchen. So Davis, stick three squirts of dish soap into our larger beaker. The other thing that we're going to use is food color. Bert, that's not for you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, man. You can't eat food coloring. It's not good for you. We don't wanna to go too crazy with the color. If you uh, put too much of anything in a scientific experiment, you will change the ratio, and that could change the experiment. So the other thing we need in this is the hydrogen peroxide. This stuff is really special because hydrogen peroxide is always chemically reacting all the time. It's always releasing oxygen. The dish soap is going to trap the oxygen in bubbles. And when you have millions of bubbles, you know it yet? What's that? Foam. <laughs> That's what foam is. It's just millions of bubbles all stuck together. So the dish soap is really important because it allows you to see the reaction. We're going to go ahead and put a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. There we go, measuring things carefully. We are not gonna mix like a maniac. A nice zhuzh. We're not going to mix it so much that all of our oxygen jumps out of our solution before we make any foam. Great. Next part of our solution is yeast. Yeast is a really cool ingredient. Do you know anything specific about it? It is alive. It is. <laughs> yeast is a fungus. It's part of a, the bacteria family. And when you get it from the store, you want to wake it up. And in order to wake yeast up, you need to use perfect 110 degree water. That's the ideal temperature. It wakes the yeast up and says, hey yeast, it's time to get going. Wake up for the day. So we have beautiful 110 degree water and we're going to put three tablespoons of water into our one tablespoon of yeast and it's gonna wake our yeast up. Bert's on the move. Davis, do you know how we know that the yeast is working? The smell. The smell, it starts to stink. Do you know why it does that? I don't. Yeast farts, <laughs> which is so fun and so cool. So this is actually how the whole experiment works. We're gonna be putting in our hydrogen peroxide mixture and it's gonna eat up all the hydrogen peroxide and it's gonna fart out oxygen. And then the oxygen that gets released gets trapped in the bubbles and it creates foam and it is very fun. When I do this at school, I do it on trays so all the foam stays in one place. And we're gonna move Bert because I don't want him to get dirty. So you can hang out up here, buddy. All right, Oop. All right, you ready? I need my goggles. Oh yes, goggles on, super important. All right, here we go, you ready? <laughs> oh my God. It does look like toothpaste. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and it is warm to the touch, so when you touch it, it is very, very warm. Go ahead and touch it. Oh, that is. Yeah. Elephant toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Bert? Bert's like, I don't really care. He is handsome. Mm -hmm. Not as handsome as you, though. Aww. That's close. Uh, I guess so. It's close. 